Good morning. Cardinal Whirl. Mayor Bowser is on the way. Joan Payden. Sister Patricia O'Brien. Sister Margaret Clayton. Members of the Board of Trust. Sister Margaret Clayton, let me say again. How about a cheer for Sister Margaret Clayton? Woohoo! We'll be hearing from Sister Margaret in a moment. Welcome to the dedication of the Trinity Academic Center, today renamed in honor of our wonderful benefactor as, and her family as the Payden Academic Center. <laughs> Two years ago, almost to this day, it was equally hot, but the sun was shining even brighter, so we'll count our blessings with the clouds. We gathered to break ground for this magnificent new learning center, the first new academic building on Trinity's campus in more than half a century since the library was built. The Payden Academic Center, with its splendid new laboratories and classrooms, realizes a grand vision first articulated by our president, Sister Margaret Clayton, in the master plans of the 1960s. I'm so pleased Sister Margaret could be with us today to see a portion of her vision become reality for Trinity. We have many people to recognize and thank today for this new building that ensures a strong future for Trinity's mission to the city, nation, and world. We are delighted that Joan Payden and her family could join us for this occasion. We also welcome her friends and Trinity's great friends among the Paulus fathers, Father Eric, Father Gill, and all the Paulus. Please welcome the Paulus fathers. We are delighted that many great benefactors are with us this morning. We're especially pleased to welcome John and Barbara Glynn from California, class of 64 and all of the members of the great class of 64 whose generosity was a big part of this. Thank you, class of 64. We're welcome, also pleased to welcome the alumni in our 50th class of 1966. And we're especially grateful to the benefactors in that class who had a very successful challenge. Thanks to John and Pat Baker for the challenge grant that we have met successfully. Thank you, Pat. And also thanks to Kathy Black and Tom Harvey who were a big part of meeting that challenge grant. Thank you so much. There are many other benefactors here. There are names listed in the program and I would be remiss in doing my job if I didn't say, it's not too late to have your very own plaque in our building. We're just about two million away from completing the campaign, so we still have time. Later in this program, we will salute the remarkable teams of professionals from Clark Construction, EYP Architects, Jones Lang LaSalle, SunTrust, Goulston and Stores, PFM, and so many other partners. You know, building a building is a great act of teamwork, and it's been so beautiful to watch our partners. We would never have been able to reach this grand day without the enthusiastic engagement of our faculty, especially in the sciences and in nursing. The patient cooperation of students and staff during construction, and of course, the incredible smart and hard work of key leaders on our team, most especially Trinity's Chief Financial Officer, Barbara Latier. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> who allowed us to spend money, let it be noted, so long as there was a revenue stream to support the money. And Vice President Michael Malawicki, thank you, Mr. Malawicki, who was our manager on this project. He made sure that every beam and every nail and every yard of concrete was absolutely right. Thank you, Michael, and many other duties as assigned. None of this would have been possible without the extraordinary leadership of our Board of Trustees, whose vision, courage, and faith made sure this project could finally come to fruition. I'm very grateful to all of the trustees who are here today, present and former, if you would stand so we could acknowledge you. Thank you to the trustees of Trinity. Thank you so much. 
I'm especially grateful to the chair of our finance committee, Irene Hannon, who with Barbara Latier made sure the financial plan could actually work. Thank you, Irene. And leading the trustees through this long and occasionally difficult process, Trinity has been so fortunate to have a remarkable board chair, someone whose firm guidance, excellent knowledge of higher education, and commitment to the mission and values of the Sisters of Notre Dame have been essential to Trinity's success. I'm so pleased and grateful to Sister Pat O'Brien, our board chair, and please join me in thanking her as she offers greetings today. Sister Pat. Thank you, President McGuire, for that lovely introduction, and welcome, everyone. It is a pleasure and a privilege to bring greetings to you from the Trinity University Board of Trustees. A special thanks to Cardinal Whirl, Mayor Bowser, council members, Trinity faculty, staff, students, and trustees, Sisters of Notre Dame. Could I ask the Sisters of Notre Dame who are here please to stand up? Thank you for being here. The Sisters of Trustees, including, of course, our beloved Sister Margaret Clayton and all of our friends who are here today. We are truly honored by your presence. And an extra special thanks to all of the alumni and benefactors who have joined us for this celebration. Some of you traveled across the city or local states to be here, but we know that others, those who have been named, Joan and the, and the Glynns, have traveled across the country to be here, and we're just delighted that you did. It is your commitment to and your enduring love for Trinity, and yes, your generosity, that have made it possible for us to dedicate this stunning new building, the Payton Academic Center. On behalf of the board, I want publicly to acknowledge Joan Payton and her extraordinary gift, without which we would not be standing here today. Some of us had hoped that this building would be named the Joan A. Payton Academic Center, but Joan, with her characteristic generosity and magnanimity, insisted that the name honor her entire family. Fair enough. <laughs> but even though the formal name of this building is the Payton Academic Center, some of us will always think of it with the greatest of affection as the Joan. <laughs> I am also pleased to announce today that at its last meeting, the Board of Trustees voted to dedicate a special space on the third floor of the Academic Center as a gallery in honor of President Patricia McGuire. I have only three minutes to speak, so there is no way that I can do justice to what Pat has done for Trinity and this project, but I think we all know. And so I will just let the Board's action do the speaking for me. The space, located on the third floor of this building, the floor that houses the natural sciences, will be a place where Pat's remarkable nature photographs can be displayed. So the next time you come by to visit, be sure to stop by what is now the finest nursing education facility in the District of Columbia. but then go up to the third floor and revel in Pat's amazing work. Yesterday, we celebrated the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and today, we celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Old-fashioned feasts, perhaps. How many of us remember that picture of the Sacred Heart that had a prominent place in our homes? But Julie Billiard, the founder of the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur, had a great devotion to these two feasts. She was forever exhorting her sisters to place all of their concerns and hopes in the heart of Jesus and that of his dear mother. To me, these feasts remind us of the importance of passion in our lives. When we do something passionately, we say that we do it wholeheartedly, that we give it to ourselves heart and soul. Trinity alumni throughout the generations have always been passionate about living lives of service and making a difference in the world. And today's Trinity students are no different, as evidenced, if nothing else, by the exuberance of last month's commencement. From the time of Trinity's founding, Trinity women have authored remarkable accomplishments, 
and our new academic center, the Joan, will allow this tradition to continue, will allow succeeding generations of passionate Trinity women, and now a few equally passionate Trinity men, to receive the highest quality values-based education possible, and to be well equipped for the world that awaits them and that so desperately needs their wisdom and contributions. On behalf of the trustees, I thank you for being here. Please enjoy the day.